Hello, and thanks for dropping by. I'm George, and we are Inspirited Nudges. In today's video, I'm going to look at five common misconceptions, or myths, about spirit guides. Let's dive straight in. Myth 1. Spirit guides want to be worshipped. There is a common misconception that your spirit guides want or demand to be worshipped like deities or gods. However, this is not an accurate depiction of your spirit guides' motives or wishes. Your spirit guides are more highly evolved beings focused on providing guidance, wisdom and support to you, rather than seeking your adoration or praise. Instead, your spirit guides volunteer to help you work through challenges, learn necessary life lessons and evolve your consciousness. They are motivated by compassion rather than any self-serving desire. Just as a teacher or mentor aims to see their students thrive, your spirit guides aim to see you grow and actualize your highest potential. Rather than wanting you to place them upon pedestals as objects of veneration, your spirit guides view you as a partner or friend. They wish to walk beside you and assist you on your journey with enlightening insights or subtle nudges that elevate your awareness. The relationship is meant to be one of collaboration, trust and mutually nurturing support between you and your spirit guides. Your spirit guides seek to empower, not diminish you. They encourage your self-reliance, inner wisdom and realisation of your full capabilities. Having said that, your spirit guides do appreciate your gratitude. Similar to the teacher or mentor role we mentioned earlier, whilst adoration or praise is not necessary, gratitude is. So when you have been given good advice or assistance in something from your spirit guides, you should always close any communications by thanking them for their assistance. So in essence, the notion that your spirit guides have similar goals to deities in desiring your worship fails to capture the compassionate, altruistic and partnership-based motivations that these higher beings truly possess in serving as your guides from beyond physical realms. Their fulfilment comes not from praise and prayer directed toward them, but in seeing you awaken spiritually and live to your highest purpose. But don't forget to be grateful. Myth 2. Spirit guides appear in a certain way. There is a belief that your spirit guides appear in a specific form or manner. However, this is not actually the case. Your spirit guides can present themselves to you in various ways, often based on your personal beliefs and mindset. They may adopt different costumes or forms in order to get your attention. Rather than always appearing in just one set way, your spirit guides are flexible based on what will best resonate with you. They may reveal themselves symbolically through certain animals, natural forces, visions, or even disguising as humans. Their ability to transform into forms familiar or meaningful to you individually is seen as an act of love and support. Your spirit guides wish to interact with you gently, respectfully, and in ways that you will understand. Therefore, placing rigid expectations on exactly how they might connect or communicate could actually create barriers. Being open-minded to experiencing your guide's contact across diverse experiences tailored to connect with your unique perspective is key. The essence of their support transcends any temporary form or costume. Your spirit guides meet you where you are to best serve your personal needs and path of growth. With this, we can see that spirit guides might appear to you in multiple different ways, even though they're the same guide. Myth 3. Spirit guides have a specific viewpoint on how you should live your life. Your spirit guides do not impose a particular lifestyle or viewpoint on you. They are present to provide guidance and support, but they deeply respect your free will and personal responsibility. Rather than dictating a specific way you must live or what you should believe, your spirit guides offer perspectives, 
insights and advice when needed or requested. However, you have full autonomy over what choices feel aligned or appropriate for the path of growth that is uniquely yours. Your spirit guides may aid you in looking deeper within to discover personal truths, overcome perceived limitations, and awaken to higher wisdom connected to your circumstances. But this process is meant to empower, not overtake your inner authority and capability to direct your journey forward consciously. Myth 4 Spirit guides are the same as deities or ascended masters. Some people believe that their spirit guides are the same beings as deities or historically revered ascended masters. However, while guides can appear in these exalted forms at times, they are their own unique entities dedicated to supporting you. Though not living in the 3D realm, your guides need not be famous figures or gods for you to consider them highly wise and loving. So while some guides may present themselves as a deity or spiritual icon you personally resonate with, their core identity and purpose lies in serving as compassionate counsel from beyond physical realms. Myth 5. Spirit guides are the same as spiritual gifts. There is a common myth that your spirit guides are the same phenomenon as spiritual gifts. However, these are actually two distinct concepts. Spiritual gifts are described as supernatural abilities like healing, visions, and profound intuition, which are granted to you from the universe. In contrast, your spirit guides are wise entity partners focused on providing you counsel, perspective, and support. So while spiritual gifts embody abilities you develop to serve others, your spirit guides aim to help you uncover inner wisdom and new levels of spiritual awareness for your own growth. Gifts impart powers. Guides impart guidance. A tutor guides a student to access their latent capabilities via teaching and encouragement, instead of doing the work for them. In much the same way, your guides assist you in realizing your untapped gifts within your being instead of simply handing the abilities to you. Your guides therefore fulfill a mentor role from subtle realms to help you see your innate wholeness and brilliance, which spiritual gifts then bring forward. Gifts and guides work differently but synergistically. Your guides empower you to step into your higher purpose and full capability to then employ your evolved gifts to serve the world. Remain open to receiving this support by avoiding conflating the two. Be receptive and discern deeper understanding of how invisible guides and your emerging spiritual gifts can work in harmony. Summary In this video, I've unpacked various myths about spirit guides that fail to capture the truth of our compassionate invisible mentors. Myths that they desire worship, physically appear only in specific forms, dictate lifestyle views, or are the exact same entities as ascended masters and deities do not align with the open, personalized guidance your spirit guides offer you. I've dispelled misconceptions through clarifying your guide's core aims to support your awakening process gently and serve as collaborative partners invested in revealing your latent gifts and inner wisdom. Whether appearing as religious icons, animals, nature forces or no form at all, your guide's essential caring presence transcends shape or ability to sometimes mimic venerated beings. Keep an open mind and heart. Your invisible counsellors communicate through diverse means to connect to your distinctive needs and journey of growth, not seeking praise for themselves, but to help you fully know and walk the spiritual path uniquely your own. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when we release new content. I've been George, and you're watching Inspirited Nudges. Stay connected, stay inquisitive, feel the nudges. Until next time, bye for now.